Climbing shapes who we are and recreationally embodies principles that we want to live by and live out. Challenge, exploration, success. Like, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. Hot seat. Climbing is generally unique from other sports in that the challenge is not manufactured, it's found. Arenas, courts, and stadiums are made. The mountains are explored. One of the really fun things about our family dynamic is we've all grown very close. And there's been some ups and downs for all of us. But through it all, we've just really made a conscious effort to be close as a family. And so there's no person or people we'd rather adventure with than siblings or our parents. And so we spend a lot of time outdoors. When it comes to adventuring, there's almost a legacy for us, and it, it starts a lot with my grandpa from Alaska. We grew up hearing Papa stories from his travels from around the world. After retiring from the Air Force, he took full advantage of catching free military hops around the world. From traveling through all the countries in Africa, to fishing trips in Mongolia, to being a bush pilot for years in Alaska, he was always seeking new adventures. We would get these crazy stories that would just make your mind just like spin you're like oh my gosh like you've done that there's this one time in specific i put it on my bucket list that i wanted to eat honey from a pharaoh's tomb it was i was like that's ridiculous that's probably not going to happen but like i got a dream so i wrote it down and i read my bucket list to my grandpa one day and he's like oh yeah i did that and he said it like in this totally lackadaisical tone just just nonchalant and i was over there like freaking out hyperventilating like what that is, that is just inconceivable. And for him, all these, all these adventures and these things that he, these things he's done over his life, I don't know, they, they shaped who he was, but he's just an adventurer at heart. And so he doesn't go around flaunting these things. It's like these are experiences that he sought out, he had, he loved. They really defined him, built his character. I don't know. And listening to his stories, it was easy to be inspired. I think that to test the odds and to face challenges is really part of the human spirit and defines humanity um, in such an integral way. It's amazing. <laughs> if you were to take all challenge and adventure and odds of um, success or defeat away from humanity and reduce it to pure comfort, you'd be stripping this integral part, this, the soul of the human race as we know it. We've collectively worked so hard to make our surroundings comfortable, and then when we succeeded, we forfeit that comfort for something that dares and defies. about six in the morning and I think the outside temp is probably near zero degrees um, and we're gonna go up and first get some coffee get some breakfast real quick and then pack our bags and start the boot pack up to the base of the climb hopefully be up there when the sun hits the pillar hopefully when you're out in the cold you have to make this really concerted conscious effort to Stay dry and stay warm as much as you can. So excited. When rock climbing, often your gear is really solid and it's really good. When ice climbing, you don't really have that mental assurance. Ice screws have gotten a lot better and the technology has increased drastically over the past 20 years, but still, to take a fall on an ice screw is, it's unknown whether it's gonna hold, and if it does hold, generally you're gonna break your ankles or your leg because when you're coming down, the points of your crampons hit the ice first and your body continues past it, and it generally breaks bones. It's pretty common that people break ankles or legs when they fall. A lot of 
lot of times, mishaps can be very large and affect more than just one person in the group that you're with. And so one of the things that we face every time that we go out and do these kind of adventures is knowing that we're doing them with some of the people that we love most. And so there's the rewards of getting to, to share that memory and those experiences with our siblings, but also the very real realization that if something bad were to happen, you know, it could take one of the most loved people in our life. There's this tension that builds when you first read about the crime and then when you're approaching it and analyzing the risks that is finally released the first time you swing your axe into the ice. Getting to hear his stories allowed me to dream a lot and to just really realize that the world is a big place and there's a lot of amazing things to see and people to meet and that I could do any of those things. 